great news on Social Security that for some reason no one's talking about. I wonder why no one's talking about it. Because great news doesn't sell. Only freaking crazy news sells. We're all going to die if we didn't care. It's all my goodness. Climate change. Biden. Putin. And rah. Nuts. Anyway, so let's read from a June 2022nd update. Actuarial status, status, status of the Social Security Trust Funds. Huh. Right here from the new trustees report. And I haven't read the whole thing, but I just read this highlight here, which I, I want to share with you. All right. Uh, we're not going to listen to what they say about the economic recovery because that's all silly. But what I'm going to show you, though, you ready? As the share of the economy is measured by gross domestic product, the projected actual deficit of the next 75 years is 1.2% for Social Security. Hmm. Which is interesting. The projected actual deficit for the combined trust funds over the next 75 years is 3.42% of taxable payroll, down from 3.54% from last year. Huh. Uh, the main reasons are the stronger than expected recovery. I don't know why that would be stronger than expected, but be that as it may. Higher expected la levels of labor productivity and a lower anticipated long-range disability interest uh, incidence rates. And a lower than anticipated long-range disability incidence rates. Um, don't forget, my friends. Higher interest rates are good for Social Security. Now, you could say that's offset by COLA increases. But if you look at the actual trustees report, interest rates play a big role because they actually literally have these, <laughs> I mean, it's all a Ponzi scheme, but they, they're funded with bonds that they're making money on. And the money's based on the current interest rates. So higher interest rates are actually better. So this is obviously written before the current interest rates have uh, gone into effect. But anyway, but this gets better. Huh. Uh, the projected reserve depletion date for the combined OASDI, OASDI, Old Age Survivor Disability. All right. OASDI, that has nothing to do with HI, which is hospital insurance, which is the Part A of Medicare. This is just your basic Social Security, Old Age Survivor Disability Insurance. The projected depletion date for the combined. Now, listen, you got to stay in here because it's going to get even better than what I'm going to share with you in just a second is 2035, a year later than last year's report. For the first, now check this out. For the first time since 1983, the DI Trust Fund is projected to pay its full benefits through the end of its 75 year projection, which will be 2096. Huh, huh, no one's talking about that. For the first time, the disability uh, income, OASDI, Old Age Social Security Disability Income, the DI part of that, is projected to pay full benefits through the end of the 75-year projection to 2096. Last year's projected DI fund depletion was 2057. The DI fund's reserve depletion date is very sensitive to changes in program, program cash flows and based on recent experience of declining program applications and incidence rates. The trustees have lowered anticipated long-range disability incidents in this year's report. Considered on its own, the OASI, that's without the DI part of it, the old age survivor income, can pay full benefits up to 2034, which is a year later than initially projected last year. No, projected last year. Hmm. So we see percentage of payroll taxes has gone down for the deficit, I should say. Interesting, huh? Again, income, where's the income? Interest right there. Interest, income, huh? So income has gone down because interest rates have gone down. What happens when they go up? We'll get into all this in a different video. I just want to point that out. That change in assets, they had to dip into it a little bit. Anyway, I want to talk about that because uh, year of depletion right there. No, year of depletion for DI. Huh, look at that. That's good stuff, man. A share of OASDI covered by schedule. Hello, oh, and now we've increased our share when the trust fund depletes 2035 and 34. Instead of paying 78%, it used to be 72%. Now, that last year was 78 Now it's 80%. Huh. Huh. In 2021, annual deficit of $56 billion decreased the asset reserves uh, to $2.852 Hmm. 
Asset reserves are $2.852 billion, which is how much they're making on what? The interest. That's what the asset reserves are making interest on the government bonds that, in theory, is held in the trust fund. <laughs> Uh, let's see. The trustees project that the OSDI annual cost will exceed total income through the 75-year projection. After that, they project it will be depleted in 2034, and it'll be uh, pay 80% of program costs, declining to 74% in, uh, by 2096. All right. Well, I, I'll be around by then. Good stuff. Man. All right here. Sources of trust fund income. During 2021, an estimated 179 million workers had earnings and paid almost a trillion dollars in payroll taxes. Employees pay 6.2 and employers do the same. Generally, more than 40% of current beneficiaries pay income taxes on part of their benefits by design. Yep. Uh, and those taxes go to the OSDI and the HI Trust Fund. In 2021, the income contributed to o OASDI Trust Funds from the taxation of benefits uh, right here uh, was $38 billion. That's the taxes you pay on your Social Security. You're paying $38 billion in taxes, which goes to the trust fund, and $70 billion in interest payments on their accumulated reserves. Anyway, so uh, a lot of good news in there. It's, uh, it's, that's good stuff. It's weird that no one's talking about that. So, now again, can you take that, I mean, it jumped from 2057 to fully funded. That's pretty significant. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, that's proof. I'm just showing you, though, that, that this is the, the, the volatility of the Social Security Trust Fund. Now, look, it's just easy to shore this up, man. Just raise the freaking payroll tax by 25 basis points to you as the employee, 25 basis points to the employer. That'd be me because I'm on both sides. That'd be a one half. That'd be a 50 basis points increase in my payroll tax. Done and done. I, I mean, they're going to raise the cap. It's stupid, but all right, whatever. They're going to do that too. So they're going to say, if you have the cap, I, the funny thing is, if we look at what FDR said about the cap, he said, we want to make sure everyone has a stake. And make, we don't want this as a welfare payment. We want it as an entitlement to keep it solvent, i.e., if you raise the cap, you get rid of the cap, and you don't give Bill Gates and all these rich guys an increased Social Security benefit, it's a welfare payment then. And FDR did not want that. No one gets that, but whatever. I mean, I'm barking at the moon now. Anyway, good stuff, man. Uh, you know, take your wins when you can get them. Right, love to hear your thoughts. We'll see you.